So Spencer, a 3-0 win at Western Supermare. What are your thoughts? <laughs> Fantastic, that's my thoughts. After a five and a five and a half hour trip to get here, I arrived five minutes before kickoff. You know, uh, what a what a shift and almost the perfect away performance. Started really brightly, the keeper or they make it a double chance in the first minute and get ourselves two nil up. They can't handle, they couldn't handle our long throws. And then I thought we put in a fantastic shift of nullifying a really good passing side in Western. And let's face it, I think they had two two chances in the game. Uh, two good saves from Jack, tip over and uh, in the first half and they came out second half. But for all the keeping of the ball, I thought our shape was fantastic. And then we've scored on the break. Fantastic game over 3-0, then hit the par. Uh, a really, really good performance because th this is a good footballing side here. And, you know, we had to work really, really hard. And I said a terrible journey up here. And, you know, I'm absolutely delighted. Six straight win. Uh, and, you know, what, what a result on a Tuesday night being forced to come here. So such, such a long distance. And it was debut for Max Mullins today. What, how did you think he got on? Look, Max, Max was somebody who's been on our radar for a few weeks. Obviously, we'll talk about Aaron in a second, but Max can play in a number of positions. Predominantly, he's a right back, which pleased a few people. Uh, he's been in around the squad at all the shots, played, started a few games earlier in the season. He's versatile, but he's, he can play wing back. He can play right centre half. And it just, you know, losing, losing Aaron, we needed a body in. And uh, we're grateful to all the shot. And it was a good start. It's tough to go into a side, but... I suppose the upside is is that we're we're a winning team. We got a fantastic attitude. You know, uh, as I said, it's uh, it's been a terrible trip to get here, and um, look, it was a great start. You know, clean sheet. Let's not beat around it. You know, and I said we restricted them as much as they had some good ball after we went two 0 up. I thought our shape and work rate was fantastic to restrict them, and uh, you know, we then got the result by uh, catching them on the break, as I said. As you just mentioned there, Aaron did leave this week. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I'm gutted. Of course I'm gutted. Uh, but let's be absolutely clear. Um, he's not our player. Um, he's Dawkins' player. And yes, we've had him a long time, but we can't control loans. Uh, you know, there's always a recall. You can't protect it. There's always a recall after 28 days. And, you know, with the greatest respect, Dawkins have got to look after themselves. And, you know, uh, it's very disappointing. Um, I wish we were in a financial position to be signing these players full time. We're not paying anywhere near their wages. You know, we've been very grateful to Mark at, at, at Dorking and, you know, we're, you know, we're going to miss him. But it was it was my key moment to the to the group today. It was very easy uh, for people to say, oh, that's it. You're not going to that's it. You know, you're, you're not going to carry on the winning run. And we love Aaron and uh, we're very grateful for his time at Farnborough. And of course, we're desperate to get him back another time, another place. But let's not forget everybody else in this win. You know, I think we've had one defeat in 12 to the league title winners. Um, you know, won so many away games as well, playing some really good football. And, you know, we've got some really good players. And I said to them, we're not going to use that as an excuse. We've got some great players. You've all been doing really well. And it's everyone's got to get behind us. And we did it in the dressing room. And that, that is a real statement to everybody to say that, yes, of course, we're going to miss Aaron. Fantastic player. But we've got great players. We always had Taylor ready to come in. Taylor's been really good. He's 18 years old. You know, the age of this squad is incredibly young. But Taylor's come in again. He fits straight into that role. And, you know, delighted. We're having to manage players. We took Ricky off a little bit earlier on Saturday to try and give him a few minutes today as an emergency. And again, he came in and saw it out. So it's about balance because everything is against us at the moment. We're at Dover on Saturday here tonight. You know, the next opponents are sitting at home. And, and then the opponents we've got on Monday, they've not been playing midweek. So it's such a challenge for us. But of course, we're loving it. And finally, the window closes on Thursday. Can we expect anything else before then? We've got another bit of good news. I'll, I'll let the club announce that tomorrow. But we've got some very, very good, exciting news tomorrow. And, you know, we are, we're very happy where we are as a club. You know, we're on a fantastic run. I think we must say that, please, please, this is the time we need you on, on Friday. Friday afternoon. You know, against a fantastic team in form, four straight wins, Chippenham. They're passing the ball around for fun, and they've had the advantage of not playing tonight. They're in they're in fabulous form. They've beaten Yeovil away. They've beaten Worthing. They've beaten you know Welling are also in fantastic form. They're in, they're really flying at the moment. It's a free hit for them, and you know it's such another difficult game. But we're at home. We're, we've got fantastic home form. Um, yes, we're tired. Yes, we've got a very long way home, and I, I hope it's a little bit better than it was getting here. Um, but please get everybody down there on Friday. We, we, we desperately need you. We are tired. We need that cliche 12th man. Uh, I said we've got some good news coming, being announced tomorrow. It's the start of moving forward. So, look, thank you to the fans that also made that horrific journey down here. And, 
you know, please get everybody there on Friday for a really exciting challenge. But what a group, what a group we've got here at the moment, you know, from the, uh, from all the staff involved in the first team to, to the, the club, the way that we're developing and another fantastic result. And uh, we look forward to getting everybody there on Friday. Cheers, Spencer, and good luck for Friday. Thanks a lot.